Everything's perfect in their own little special unique way. Too bad. We're not doing that here. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Extra big shout out to the two people who submitted videos this week because otherwise I would have nothing to review. Let's jump into it. First video is called 22 Feet by Angel P. Rewind play. Starting off. He's behind the fence. Starting off with a 50-50. Did we get a violation first trick? No way. There's no way we got a violation first trick. A heel drag? Probably not. Okay. Let's just step back a little bit. We don't have to be so critical today. Although these crossfades are really distracting and really bad. And if the whole video is like this, I guarantee you it's going to be ruined. Fakie tray down the stairs. Crossfade here, front tail. So this is honestly just laziness in editing, but laziness might not be the right word because it would probably be easier to not have a video like this. Look right here, we don't even get to see the landing before it fades away. That, you should have, like, did you not watch the video when you exported it? If it's not entertaining enough for you to watch and notice such a critical mistake, holy macaroni, do you just, not care there's effort right i think it would have been easier just to drag every file into a program and then just hit like compile rather than do it like this where it's it's just ugly and you're you're not only distracting the viewer you, some of the tricks you're just completely cutting off we get some tic tacs here on the front side flip i mean the style's good right for the most part, we got cool spots, pretty good filming. Just the crossfade is so distracting and so bad. Oh, I feel like that's something that people should notice. I mean, I've talked about it on Ninja Review, I don't know, maybe a hundred times. What episode are we on? Here we go. We got to be getting close to the edge here. We crossfaded the roll up. That was funny to make it more dramatic. Like, dude, it's, it's, a, it's smaller than a flat bar. Smith grind down the rail. Nicely done, video's over, one minute and 27 seconds. Overall, not my favorite video. You tell me, what's going on here, and how did this happen if anyone was putting even just a minimal amount of effort into the video? Again, it's weird to call it laziness, because I feel like it takes extra time to do all this, but it still makes the whole video worse as a whole, if this had no crossfades, and I know I keep harping on the same subject, I promise you it would have been eh, 8.5 out of 10. But right now, it's a 4. You got knocked all the way back to a 4 as far as me being able to enjoy the video. So yeah, not my favorite at all. Next video, this one's by Austin. It's called Park Clips for Ninja Review. Nice. Rewind and play. I always say try to start off with a bang. We got the 5-0 uh, fakey. Whoa, perfect half cab flip. Look at this line. Blunt 180. The cab, he's wearing the helmet, Josh Cat style. We've got switch already. We've got transition. We've got jumps. We've got nollie. We've got flat bars. We've got switch. We've got down rails. we got a smith grind. we got a crooked grind. All the filming so far has been fine. Front blunt, no tic tacs. Not too much roll up. Not too much roll away. We haven't seen a single crossfade. And other than, you know being able to make fun of the helmet, which we won't do. So far, everything's been perfect. This is a guy that is not just landing his tricks for the sake of landing them. He wants to land them cleanly, perfectly, with authority, and he wants to look, whoa, toe drag right there. I was gonna say he wants to look like he's done these tricks before. Not even a toe drag. I was exaggerating. Just a little bit off right there. We're gonna let it slide. So far, 10 out of 10. Grind across and down, cross lock, not a fan. But that's that's my personal opinion. That doesn't hold anyone back for the score here. Nose manual pops out of the nose manual. Notice his wheels didn't hit on the way down. No tic tacs on the uh, pole jam 180. We got uh, a little bit of flexible mini ramp action right here. Okay, see, avoided the tic tac there. This is great. I think we've reviewed this guy before. 
but I don't remember at all what our critiques would have been. Look at that. This is great. Weird zooming right there. We have, like, really the total package here. He's got the transition. He would probably be a great contest skater. Uh, I shouldn't say that to limit anybody. He's already a great skater just the way the way it is right now. The, the film that we're watching right now, at no point would I think of turning it off. No, no dragging of the tail right there. We've got a little bit of everything, and there's so much action. How long is this video? Two and a half minutes. It's nothing but action. We might get a couple of repeated tricks, but they're a little harder to notice because he's smashing so many different tricks together here. This might be our best video. Whoa, was that Board Salt of Feeble Fakie? I might give this a go this week. I might go to the park and try that one. Never thought of doing that. I do the Board Salt to, to Feeble and then go over. I've never thought about coming back. Maybe we'll try that for our Friday challenge. Getting inspiration from this guy too already, right? Grabs the nose on the slide, slides the entire thing, keeps it in a line, not too much roll up, not too much roll away. I was gonna say no wasted walls, but that was a bit of a wasted wall. We get a backsmith here. Early grab, never been a fan of that. Really mixing it up wonderfully here. There's, there's nothing to complain about, which is the goal of these videos. You guys should want me to watch these videos and then become like speechless because I can find something wrong with almost anything. The worst things I can possibly think of is he did a 360 where his toe kind of hung off and then he did an early grab, which again is kind of a personal preference for me. I don't like to see them in videos, but overall he's left me with next to nothing to complain about. This will be our first 10 out of 10 video in quite some time. Excellent job, Austin. And it's actually no surprise, I just noticed that I'm subscribed. So I can only imagine that last time we reviewed this guy, I probably had the same opinion. So yeah, excellent job, Austin. And Angel, you could learn a thing or two from this video. I know no one likes to be the worst video out of the two, but right here, you really got yourself in trouble because you have the skills on the streets. It would have been a competitive battle here today, but the crossfades ruined it for the first video. Also, bonus points. No one would ever know that they're doing this on purpose, but bonus points for inspiring me to try to learn a trick you did in this video. It's nice to watch a video and say, hey, I don't know if I've ever thought of that, or maybe I've not thought of that lately, or oh, I'm gonna go to a park that has that same setup. I would love to try the board stall to feeble to come in fakie. I think I can pull it off. Although the sad part of that idea is that that video comes out on Friday and this video right here comes out on Saturday. So whatever, I'll just mention it in Friday's video. Anyways, great job, both guys. Clearly I like one more than the other, but you guys both did a, uh, a great job at getting a video done, which is more than I can say for a lot of you guys. Would you like to submit your video to me? Yes, you, the viewer. Well, the submission process is easy. All you have to do is find me on Facebook or on Instagram. Send me a DM and inside that DM write, this is for Ninja Review. Then include a link to an HD YouTube video. Make sure the aspect ratio is 16 by nine, which means no black bars on the side, no vertical footage, and no square footage. I check those DMs usually on Mondays. I'm actually filming this video on a Monday, and I checked both of these submission DMs today, like an hour ago. So then I immediately make the video. What am I leaving out? Uh, yeah, send the link to YouTube, write this is for Ninja Review, send me the DM, and then it's done. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure to subscribe. There's evidence now that YouTube is silencing me. In fact, for some people, they've completely erased the subscribe button. So if that's the case, use the annotations on the outro screen that might still allow you to subscribe. You guys know I'm shadow banned. YouTube doesn't want people to know the truth. They want me to sit here all day and go, everyone's perfect in their own little special unique way. Too bad. We're not doing that here. Have a great weekend. Kuna Matata. In the arm.